Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. Emily woke up to the soft glow of morning light filtering through her bedroom window. Stretching her arms above her head, she yawned, her hands touching the walls on either side of her small bed. It was then that she noticed the first change. Her shoulders felt different, smaller somehow, and her arms seemed to move more freely. Sitting up, she ran her hands through her long, dark hair, pushing it back from her face. Her eyes widened as she realized her hair felt silkier, softer than it had been before. Hmm, interesting, she murmured to herself, a small smile playing at the corners of her mouth. She swung her legs over the side of the bed and stood up, padding barefooted across the cool wood floor to her full-length mirror. Her eyes traced the lines of her body, taking in the subtle shifts. Her hips seemed fuller, her waist slightly narrower, and her legs... Well, they appeared shapelier, with a hint of new curves. Emily bit her lip, her heart racing as she considered the implications. The hormones were clearly working faster than she'd anticipated. Wow, this is quite the transformation. She laughed, a touch of nervousness underlying her wonder. A sharp knock startled her, and her roommate, Maya, poked her head into the room. Hey, Em, you up? We're gonna be late for work if we don't leave soon. Maya's voice held a note of impatience, but her eyes widened as she took in Emily's state of undress. Oh, sorry, didn't realize you were... Um... Maya trailed off, her cheeks flushing slightly as she quickly averted her gaze. Emily's smile faltered, and she wrapped her arms around herself, suddenly self-conscious. I... Yeah, I'm up. Just give me a sec to get changed, and we can head out. Sure thing. Maya backed out of the room, leaving Emily standing alone in front of the mirror. As Emily hurriedly pulled on a pair of jeans and a loose-fitting shirt, she couldn't shake the feeling that Maya had seen the changes in her body. Was it that noticeable? She wondered. How am I supposed to hide this? The morning commute to their shared office space was filled with awkward silence as Emily and Maya rode the bus, each lost in their thoughts. Emily felt Maya steal glances at her every now and then, but whenever their eyes met, Maya quickly looked away. So, about this morning... Maya began, then trailed off, biting her lip. What about it? Emily kept her tone light, feigning nonchalance. You know, when I saw you in your room, I mean, it's just that you look different, Maya blurted out, her cheeks flushing again. Emily's heart skipped a beat. Different? How so? She knew she was playing a dangerous game, but she couldn't help probing. Maya seemed to choose her words carefully. I don't know. Softer, I guess? It's like your whole vibe has shifted or something. She shrugged as if unsure how to explain it. It's weird, but cool. You look good. Emily felt a rush of relief mixed with excitement. Oh, well, thanks, I think, she said, laughing nervously. I mean, I haven't really done anything different, but hey, I'll take it as a compliment. Maya smiled, seeming to sense Emily's unease. You do you, girl. Just thought I'd mention it. No big deal. Right, no big deal, Emily echoed, her mind racing. If Maya's noticed, who else will, she wondered. Am I really ready for this? The office buzzed with activity as Emily and Maya settled into their respective cubicles. Emily felt eyes on her as she moved through the space, and she couldn't shake the feeling that people were whispering as she passed. She told herself it was all in her head, that she was being paranoid, but the sensation persisted. Hey, Em! Maya popped her head over the partition between their cubicles. You okay? You seem a little distracted? Emily jumped, startled. Oh, yeah, fine. Just a lot on my mind, you know? Maya's eyebrows knitted together. Everything all right? You can talk to me, you know? I know, and thanks, Emily offered a weak smile. It's just, I feel like everyone's staring at me today, like they know something's different, but I can't pin down what it is. Maya's expression softened. Hey, even if they are staring, who cares? You look amazing, and anyone who can't handle your glow up can deal with it. 
You do you and don't let anyone dull your shine. She winked, then ducked back into her own cubicle, leaving Emily feeling simultaneously comforted and exposed. Do I really look that different? Emily wondered. Or am I just being paranoid? She shook her head, determined to push the thoughts aside and focus on her work. Lunchtime provided little respite from Emily's swirling thoughts. She and Maya usually ate together, but today Emily found herself alone as Maya had a last minute meeting. She considered eating at her desk, but decided she needed some fresh air. As she walked to the nearby park, she felt eyes on her. She told herself it was her imagination, but the feeling persisted. Am I being followed? She wondered, her heart pounding. She quickened her pace, her hands clutching her takeout bag tightly. Reaching the park, she sighed in relief, finding it mostly empty. She sat down on a bench, unwrapping her sandwich and taking a bite. She closed her eyes, relishing the moment of peace. Hey there. Emily's eyes snapped open and she nearly choked on her sandwich. A man stood in front of her, smiling down at her. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to startle you, he said, his eyes flicking to her throat. Emily coughed, her face flushing. It's fine, she managed, taking a sip of water to compose herself. Can I help you? The man nodded, his smile not waning. Actually, I wanted to help you. You see, I work for a makeup company and we're always on the lookout for new models. When I saw you, I just had to come over and ask if you'd be interested. He handed her a business card. Emily stared at the card, her heart pounding. Me? But I've never modeled before. The man waved her objection away. Don't worry, we provide training. You've got a great look, and I think you'd be perfect for our next campaign. Emily's mind raced. A modeling offer? Me? She couldn't quite process it. Um, thanks, I guess. I'll think about it, she stammered, standing up and backing away. I should get back to work. Thanks again. The man smiled, seeming to sense her discomfort. Of course. Take your time, but don't wait too long. Opportunities like this don't come along every day. With that, he tipped his hat and walked away, leaving Emily standing there, shaking her head in disbelief. Back at the office, Emily couldn't concentrate. The modeling offer kept running through her mind, along with the intense feeling of being watched. She jumped at every sound, her nerves frayed. Maya noticed her friend's restlessness. Hey, you okay? You seem even more distracted than before. Emily sighed, setting down her pen. I don't know, I keep feeling like someone's following me, and then I got this weird modeling offer during lunch. Maya's eyes widened. No way! That's so cool! What did you say? Emily shrugged. I don't know, I told him I'd think about it, but it all feels so surreal. Maya grinned. Em, this is amazing. You should definitely do it. When else are you going to get scouted like that? And who knows, it could lead to bigger and better things. Emily felt a flutter of excitement mixed with apprehension. I guess, but what if it's some kind of scam or something? I don't want to get my hopes up. Maya waved her concerns away. Oh, come on. When was the last time you heard of a modeling scam happening in broad daylight at a park? Just Google the company and check them out. I bet they're legit. I suppose I could. Emily conceded, a small smile playing at her lips. It's just a lot to take in, you know? Maya's smile was infectious. I know, but sometimes the best things in life are the ones that surprise us. You deserve this, Em. Go for it. Emily felt a rush of warmth at Maya's enthusiasm. Okay, I'll look into it. Thanks for the encouragement. That evening, after a long day of battling her nerves, Emily finally arrived home. She kicked off her shoes and collapsed onto the couch, her mind still spinning. Maya poked her head out of her room, taking in Emily's state. Rough day? Emily nodded, her eyes closed. You have no idea. Maya smiled sympathetically and came to sit beside her. Want to talk about it? Emily hesitated, then sighed. It's just a lot of feelings, you know? Ever since I started HRT, I've been dealing with all these emotions and physical changes, and now this modeling offer. It's a lot to process. 
Maya's expression turned thoughtful. I can only imagine. Hormones are no joke and they affect everyone differently. But you know what? I think it's awesome that you're embracing these changes and exploring new opportunities. It takes courage to step into the unknown like that. Emily opened her eyes, seeing the sincerity in Maya's gaze. Thanks, Maya. That means a lot. It's just scary, you know? Putting myself out there like this. Maya nodded, her dark eyes understanding. Of course, change is scary, but it also brings growth. And hey, if this doesn't work out, at least you tried, right? No regrets. No regrets, Emily repeated, a small smile returning. You're right, I need to remember that. Maya patted her shoulder. Now enough of this deep talk. Let's order some takeout and watch a movie. We can celebrate your modeling debut, even if it's just the two of us. Emily laughed, feeling the tension ease from her shoulders. Deal. And Maya? Yeah? Thanks for being my rock through all this. I don't know what I'd do without you. Maya beamed. Anytime, Em. That's what friends are for. The next few days passed in a blur as Emily researched the modeling agency, talked to the representative on the phone, and finally, after much deliberation, signed the contract. She felt a mixture of elation and trepidation as she dove into this new, unexpected world. On her first day of training, she stepped into the bright, airy studio, her heart pounding. The other models, all tall and confident, seemed to know exactly what they were doing, while Emily felt like a deer caught in headlights. A bubbly blonde model named Sarah seemed to sense her discomfort. Hey, you must be Emily. It's your first day, right? Emily nodded, her voice failing her momentarily. Sarah smiled warmly. Don't worry, we've all been there. Come on, I'll show you the ropes, and before you know it, you'll be a pro. She linked her arm through Emily's, leading her towards the dressing rooms. So what brought you into the modeling world? Emily took a deep breath, stealing herself. Well, it's kind of a long story, but the short version is that I recently started hormone replacement therapy as part of my transition, and someone scouted me in a park. Sarah's eyes widened, but her smile didn't falter. That's amazing! And here I thought I had an interesting story. You're killing it already, girl. Emily felt a wave of relief wash over her. Thanks. I think I needed to hear that. Sarah laughed, her blue eyes sparkling. Anytime. Now let's get you glammed up and show the world what you've got. As Emily allowed the makeup artists and stylists to work their magic, she couldn't help but marvel at how her life had changed so drastically in such a short time. Who knows what other surprises lie ahead, she thought, a thrill of excitement running through her. Bring it on. As the days turned into weeks, Emily settled into her new routine, balancing her office job with her newfound modeling career. The hormones continued their magic, softening her features and accentuating her feminine curves. Her confidence grew with each passing day, and she found herself embracing her new identity with open arms. One afternoon, as she strutted down the runway at a local fashion show, she felt the eyes of the audience on her. Their gazes no longer made her uncomfortable. Instead, she fed off their attention, striking poses and flaunting the designer clothing with flair. After the show, she changed back into her street clothes and made her way through the crowd, her eyes scanning for Maya, who had promised to attend. She spotted her friend waving enthusiastically, and she made her way over, a broad smile on her face. Em, you were incredible, Maya gushed, pulling her into a hug. I mean, I knew you'd be good, but you totally owned that runway. Emily felt a warm glow spread through her. Thanks, Maya. It means a lot that you're here supporting me. Maya smiled, her eyes sparkling. Of course I'm here. I'm your biggest fan. Her gaze drifted to a group of people standing nearby, their eyes also on Emily. Looks like you've got quite the fan club, she remarked, a hint of amusement in her tone. Emily followed her gaze, her cheeks warming as she noticed several people whispering and pointing in her direction. Yeah, it seems word's gotten out, she said, feeling a mixture of pride and discomfort. A tall, elegant woman with silver hair approached, 
her eyes sparkling with excitement. Emily, darling, you were absolutely fabulous, a natural truly. Emily recognized her as one of the show's organizers. Thank you, Miss Jacobs. It was an honor to be a part of the show. Miss Jacobs waved her hand dismissively. Please call me Victoria, and I insist you join us for the after party. We simply must celebrate your success properly. Emily hesitated, glancing at Maya, who mouthed, Go for it. All right, I'd be delighted to, Emily said, her heart fluttering with anticipation. The after party was an extravagant affair, held in a chic rooftop bar overlooking the city skyline. Emily felt like a princess as she mingled with designers, photographers, and other industry professionals, all of whom seemed eager to shower her with praise. She found herself in deep conversation with a renowned fashion photographer, Marcus, who seemed particularly intrigued by her unique journey. Your story is fascinating, Emily. The way your life has transformed is truly remarkable. I'd love to capture that essence in a photo shoot. Emily felt a thrill at the offer. Really? I'd be honored, of course. Marcus smiled, his eyes shining with enthusiasm. Wonderful. We'll make it happen soon. I have a feeling your star is on the rise, and I want to be a part of it. Emily couldn't quite believe her ears. Me? A rising star? She felt lightheaded as she accepted a glass of champagne from a passing waiter. Maya, always by her side, seemed to sense her friend's awe. You doing okay there, Em? You look a little dazed. Emily laughed, bubbles tickling her nose. I am, a bit. This is all so surreal. I mean, a famous photographer wants to work with me? Maya's dark eyes sparkled with joy. Of course they do. Your star has been rising ever since you embraced your true self, Em. This is just the beginning. Emily felt a rush of gratitude for her friend's unwavering support. You're the best, Maya. I don't know where I'd be without you. Maya smiled, clinking her glass against Emily's. To new beginnings and the power of embracing ourselves. Cheers! Cheers! Emily echoed, feeling an overwhelming sense of contentment and excitement for the future. As the night wore on, Emily found herself caught up in a whirlwind of conversations, introductions, and potential opportunities. The rooftop bar buzzed with energy, the city lights twinkling below like a sea of stars. She felt as if she were floating, buoyed by the excitement and promise of what lay ahead. Emily, darling, Victoria's melodious voice cut through the chatter. There's someone I simply must introduce you to. Emily excused herself from her current conversation and made her way over to where Victoria stood with a tall, striking woman with piercing green eyes and sleek silver hair. Emily, meet Alessandra Rossi. She's one of the top fashion designers in Europe, and she's looking for fresh faces for her upcoming show in Milan. Emily's heart skipped a beat. Milan? She extended her hand, hoping it wasn't visibly shaking. It's an honor to meet you, Miss Rossi. Alessandra's grip was firm, her gaze appraising. The pleasure is mine, Emily. Victoria has been singing your praises all evening. I must say you have a unique look that intrigues me. Emily felt her cheeks warm. Thank you. That means a lot coming from someone of your caliber. Alessandra's lips quirked into a small smile. Tell me, Emily, have you ever been to Italy? Emily shook her head. No, I haven't had the opportunity to travel much yet. Well, perhaps that will change soon. I'd like you to come to Milan for a casting call. If all goes well, you could be walking in my show during Fashion Week. Emily's mind reeled. Fashion Week? In Milan? She struggled to find her voice. I, that would be incredible. Thank you for the opportunity. Alessandra nodded, her expression softening slightly. Your journey is an inspiring one, Emily. I believe it could bring a fresh perspective to the fashion world. We'll be in touch soon with the details. As Alessandra moved on to mingle with other guests, Emily stood rooted to the spot, trying to process what had just happened. Maya appeared at her side, concern etched on her face. Em, you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Emily turned to her friend, her eyes wide. Maya, I... I think I just got offered a chance to model in Milan during Fashion Week. Maya's jaw dropped. Holy shit, Em, that's huge. 
Emily nodded, still dazed. I know, I can't quite believe it. Maya grabbed her hands, squeezing them tight. Believe it, girl. You've worked hard for this. You deserve it. As the reality of the situation began to sink in, Emily felt a mixture of elation and terror. This was everything she'd dreamed of. But it also meant stepping even further out of her comfort zone. She'd be traveling to a foreign country, surrounded by people she didn't know, all while still navigating her transition. What if I'm not ready? She whispered, voicing her fears to Maya. Maya's expression turned serious. Em, look at me. You are more than ready. You've faced bigger challenges than this and come out stronger. This is your moment to shine on an international stage. Don't let fear hold you back. Emily took a deep breath, drawing strength from her friend's words. You're right. I can do this. I will do this. The rest of the evening passed in a blur of congratulations and well wishes. By the time Emily and Maya stumbled into a taxi in the early hours of the morning, Emily felt as if she were walking on air. Back at their apartment, Emily kicked off her heels and collapsed onto the couch, her mind still racing. Maya flopped down beside her, kicking her feet up onto the coffee table. So, future international supermodel, how does it feel? Emily laughed, the sound tinged with both excitement and disbelief. Honestly, it feels like a dream. I keep waiting to wake up. Maya nudged her with her elbow. Well, it's real, babe. You're living the dream. Emily's smile faded slightly as a thought occurred to her. Maya, what about work? What about our apartment? If I go to Milan, even if it's just for a casting call? Maya waved her hand dismissively. Details, details. We'll figure it out. Your job will understand. This is a huge opportunity. And as for the apartment, I can handle things here for a while. Maybe I'll even throw a party or two while you're gone, she added with a wink. Emily rolled her eyes, but she was grateful for Maya's unwavering support. What would I do without you? Crash and burn, probably, Maya teased. Then more seriously, but really, Em, I'm so proud of you. You've come so far and you're only just getting started. Emily felt tears prick at her eyes. Thanks, Maya, for everything. Emily received the official invitation for the casting call in Milan, along with all the necessary details. She negotiated a leave of absence from her day job, arranged for her hormone treatments to continue while abroad, and spent countless hours researching Italian culture and fashion etiquette. The night before her flight, Emily stood in front of her packed suitcase, anxiety gnawing at her stomach. Maya leaned against the doorframe, watching her with a mixture of amusement and concern. You know, staring at your suitcase isn't going to make you any more prepared, Maya said gently. Emily sighed, running a hand through her hair. I know, I just keep feeling like I'm forgetting something important. Maya stepped into the room, placing her hands on Emily's shoulders. You've triple-checked everything. You're as ready as you'll ever be. Now come on, let's have one last movie night before you jet off to become an international sensation. Emily allowed herself to be led to the living room, where Maya had set up a nest of blankets and pillows on the couch. A selection of their favorite snacks was spread out on the coffee table, and the opening menu of The Devil Wears Prada was playing on the TV. Really? Emily laughed, gesturing at the movie choice. Maya grinned. Hey, consider it research. You never know when you might run into a Miranda Priestly type in Milan. As they settled in to watch the movie, Emily felt some of her anxiety melt away. This was familiar, comfortable. No matter what happened in Milan, she would always have this. Movie nights with her best friend. The person who had stood by her through every step of her journey. Thanks for watching. Check out Patreon if you want to have early access to the other parts. If not, it will be online in a couple of days.